The aim must be to achieve a CO2 concentration of 1900 again in 2100. So we have to recover CO2 from the atmosphere and must not limit ourselves to the goal of only slowing down the further increase. However, we will not be able to do this if we focus exclusively on energy conservation, renewable energy generation and electromobility. The question of resources is also important in this context. They are more scarce than renewable energy. The sun is infinite. In addition, there are existing 1.3 billion motor vehicles, 90,000 ships and 20,000 airplanes worldwide with conventional drives, whose raw material are very little reuse in the event of scrapping. So e-fuels can be produced all over the world out of wind and solar. E-fuels can be easily stored and transported over long distances without any energy loss. And e-fuels allow the sustainable use of existing infrastructure in the transport and heating sectors. The production and export of power to x technology can also generate significant amounts of new jobs and additional added value in Europe, but also in partnering countries.